Hey guys, welcome to another review. Uh, I am Mr. P, um, and today what we're doing, another really good review. What we've got today is a bit of a blue moon from um, moosejuice.me. Paul at Moose Juice sent this down for me um, to have a little go of and to test it out. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so that's what we've got. Moose Juice is um, blue moon. Okay, now this is a 70% VG, 30% PG mix at 12 milligram. This is a luminous neon blue. Um, and this is actually double shotted with flavor, which Paul does if you ask him. So just letting you know that you can do that if you wanted to. Um, a few cool things about the e-liquid. The one of the reasons I know it's 70-30, one, because Paul's written it on the bottle for me, but two, because you can specify entire content. So you can go from 10% all up to 95% VG. So those of you with a PG allergy or a reaction to PG, Definitely one for you to check out. Um, also, nicotine strength all the way from zero nick, 6, 12, 18, and 24. Uh, and Paul's actually got a sale on at the minute. These are a tenner for 30 mil. I do want to say, I like these bottles. I know the light's a bit reflective, but kind of like a overall pointed shape situation going on here. Really nice for dripping, lovely stuff. As you can see, I've been abusing this bottle a bit. All the way back here, you can see it better there. I've uh, been abusing this button a bit. Uh, relevant information on here, you've got your tactile sticker, you've got your chip compliant labels. Um, it is not a child safety cap, bear that in mind. Um, to be honest with you, e-liquids in the UK kind of tend to be, but it's not actually compulsory at the minute, although it falls in chip compliance. I'm not entirely sure of the ins and outs of it, but they're not child safety, be aware, I've told you. Um, so, what am I running this in? in? I'm running this in the uh, EH Pro Valkyrie Dripper Hybrid. Um, gift from the partner and um, what we've got is about a 0.6 ohm coil I prefer this juice down lower I've tried this sort of along the range um, so that's what we're going with um, Blue Moon on the site is described as I'll read this description to you ravishing blue raspberry the pure flavor of summer raspberries um, it says looks cool in a clear tank due to its neon blue color um, so 9.99 for a bottle of moose juice let's go As you can see, first of all, vapor, lovely, 70% VG mixture. You could have it more than that if you wanted to. The flavor itself, it's kind of, it's a bit of a strange one. It's raspberry. I'm trying to narrow down the kind of, the closest association to a raspberry flavor that I can make this to. The, the actual raspberry fruits, no, they're very sort of acidic -y and it doesn't taste like that. It tastes like a raspberry sweet, if you like, to me. Um, it tastes like a raspberry sweet, but it's not as sweet as a sweet would be, if that makes any sense. Um, now, like I said, that is double shotted with flavour. I asked Paul to double shot it for me and he did quite happily. Um, so on a single shot, you, your flavour sort of profile of this e-liquid may be different um, but for me it's I can still taste it now it's lovely it's coming in your mouth it's a, it's definitely a raspberry um, it's not a super sweet one so for me that makes it an all-day vape because super sweet raspberries I've made and they just they kill me they're so sweet um, it's quite refreshing and it sits very much on the tongue and sort of in your mouth um, now I've tried this on several builds, um, throat hit is going to vary, a steeping stage as well is going to vary, these are custom e-liquids made to your specs, so bear in mind when you order them expect really two or three weeks before they're at their prime, sorry I just had a drink, um, hmm. I do two marks out of ten for e-liquids, one for does it taste like it's supposed to, you know, i.e. the name or the description, and I'm off my personal take on it. So, Blue Moon, does it taste like a raspberry e-liquid? Yes, it definitely does. It doesn't taste like the fruit, it doesn't taste like the sweet. It's kind of an amalgamation of the two, um, so it's sort of midway. Um, it's got that twang at the back of it, which I think is quite nice, but it's not to the extent of an actual raspberry. Um, yes, it matches the description. It tastes like raspberries, it's a 10. Um, for me personally, I think this is a really nice e-liquid. I can do this all day. I'll stick it in a K farm with a clear tank and it's all blue and it's all cool. Um, and it's not something that distracts, you know, some e-liquids, some casters in particular, 
they distract from other stuff that's going on in the mix. This is just a very clean cut raspberry um, and it's not something that I get sick of easily. Um, so for my personal take on the liquid, I'm gonna give it a 10. Like I say guys, I'll link Moose Shoes down here if you want to go and check them out. 1984 is a stellar flavoured e-liquid, it's fucking awesome. Um, I've reviewed that already so I'm not going to review it again. Uh, but definitely check out that. And the fact you can customise all of your PG-VG ratios, for some of you guys out there that have that aversion to PG, it's going to be really beneficial for you. Um, and for those of you that are cloud chasers, I'm sure if you wanted a 2 or 3 milligram nicotine strength, Drop poor line, and I don't doubt for a second he'll quite happily oblige. Um, so yeah, bear in mind, guys, this is like a tailored e-liquid company. So if there's something not on the site listed that you want, ask for it. The worst that's going to happen is he's going to say no, and I very much doubt that will be the case. Um, obviously, a big thank you to Paul for sending this down to me, um, and obviously, thank you to all of you guys for watching an idiot flap. Um, so yeah, thank you guys. I'm Mr. P. I shall see you soon.